Voice Recorder. Yes, you can create your personal voice recorder app using Python. But how many lines of code? 100? Um, kind of. But 10. 10 lines of code all it takes. Requirements? Python and two Python libraries, Sound Device and SkyPy. If it's not installed in your computer, go to command prompt and type pip install sound device and pip install SkyPy. But how the program works? Your default mic starts recording as you run the program. The recording is saved in the same location of the source code. And after a custom time that you have set in the program, ends and the code executes. Source code. First, we'll import our sound device and SkyPy. We will set the sample rate. Seconds, print recording just to see if the recording has been started, if the program is getting any error or not. Then this is the main folder, main code where the actual thing is happening using seconds that you have given and sample rate and channel. So next, sound device dot wait to just make sure everything is working fine and adjust all those into the code. You have to do nothing just to wait and write. And you can rename the file as I am saving it as it out dot wav. Please don't change dot wav extension or it would give an error. Don't change it to dot mp3. Keep it wav. That's it. So let me show you the demo. We have the source code in a folder, so we will do nothing, just run it. And after 10 seconds, it will automatically close. Um, just wait for it. It started recording. Um, we are waiting, this is awkward to wait for this long. And we have the out. Let me check if it's right or wrong. It started recording. Um, we are waiting. This is awkward to wait for this now. Okay, this is happening exactly the way we want it. Let's talk about open source contributing. Any kind of contribution to this repository are welcome. To do so, you need to fork this repository, create your feature branch, commit your changes, push to the branch, and finally, open a pull request. And you can be officially member of QX Research or Mozilla Campus Club by joining the Mozilla group and Telegram group, link in the description, and start development and research with QX Research.